what you guys got another video here for you should you update to windows 10 october 2020 update version 20 h2 we're going to be covering all of your questions that i get in the comment section about uh, updates and whether you will want to update or whether you should update and what versions are available and what version you may be running we're going to cover all that in this video so let's first go to the search box and type winver and this will tell you basically what version of Windows 10 you are running. Now, there's quite a few versions available for people to run. And some people are regular updaters of Windows 10. They like to get the latest and greatest updates from Microsoft by updating right away. And some people just hold off and stick with a more older version, which is more stable, but they still get the same support as you would if you was uh, running a modern day version. So let's take a look here. This version here is 2004. Uh, version 2004 operating system build that is the number right there that is the version that i'm running on this system now i didn't update to uh, windows 10 2004 right away i waited for a good few months because there was a lot of problems regardless of what people will tell you on the internet there was quite a few problems and they had to fix those problems before i rolled out that update now with microsoft they have changed the way uh, you receive your updates now when you click on the update section here uh, once they start rolling out uh, these updates you will get a little box here which will show you basically um, your update is available for you and you you can opt in to update right away a while ago they used to just force it upon you and basically you'd wake up in the morning and you'd either wake up with a blue screen or an updated version of windows 10 which you might not have wanted and now you get a bit more control now if you don't see that here maybe you've paused updates or you've got some sort of block on your updates to stop it updating and you won't receive those until you uh, put your settings back to default and that way you would then uh, be notified when there's latest updates available to you you might also see a view optional updates here and sometimes you might see something in here which you can update as well so let's move on to whether you should be updating to the latest version. We'll cover all that in this video as well. So first off, let's cover how to update right away if you don't want to wait. Now, if you're one of these people that are chomping at the bit to get the latest and greatest updates from Microsoft, then you can go to their website. If you don't want to wait it for uh, to be populated and rolled out by Microsoft, you can go to their website and see windows 10 october 2020 update that means this is the version 20 h2 version of windows and you will be able to then click on update here it will download this upgrade executable file you click on this and this will then open up the upgrade uh, to the latest version of windows 10. if you look here it says one of the best features of windows 10 is that it keeps getting better every update well that's debatable i suppose uh, but this pc is not currently running the latest and the most secure version of windows 10 and you can see here it also says that this pc is running version 2004 the latest version is 2009 which is what we was talking about version 20 h2 and uh, it will sell you here. We can help you get the latest security enhancements and feature improvements by clicking on this button here. So if you want to do that, you can then click on this and it will then go through the motions and allow you to um, update your version. So starting to update here and you can generally see it will start to download and get it ready for me. I can cancel this any time by clicking on the cancel button if I want to, I can also minimize this if I wanted to and basically go ahead and update to the latest version. So that remember, this will be version uh, 20 H2. So I'm just going to cancel that for now. And uh, just cancel that for the time being for this video. So let's move on to the next section here is what the differences are between all of these updates so you can understand how it all works so taking a look on the windows 10 release information here this will give you all of the information i get asked all the time about 
updates and whether it's safe to update and whether I should update. And you have to sort of make some decisions for yourself at this stage because there's many different pieces of hardware and there's many different PCs out there that have got different software and hardware installed on them. And some people have trouble-free updates and they don't have any problems whatsoever. On the other hand, you do get a, a majority of people that might have a problem and have some sort of issue where the menu might not work, the search might not work, you know, just going off random things that have happened in the past. And unfortunately, there's no way of telling whether that would happen to your system or not. And some people don't have any issues at all. I don't know how, why that is. It just is the way it is. But Windows 10, whether you believe it or not, has been played with lots of bad problems with updates in the past. So looking at the versions here, this will tell you roughly what versions are and when they're supported and how long the support lasts for those versions. And there's another misconception where people seem to think that if you don't update, you're at risk. And that's not quite true. You will still receive updates and security patches for that version of Windows 10. If that wasn't the case, Microsoft will pull it from its support and you would not receive any more updates for that version. Some people seem to think that you have to keep updating all the time right away to get the latest security patches for that operating system, but you can still stay on version 1909 right up until 2021, uh, the world well, 11th of the 5th, 2021, and still receive updates and security patches for that version of Windows 10. And again, you can see here, even for 1903, this is right up until December. So 8th of December 2020, that's when 1903 will cease any sort of support for it. You won't get any updates anymore for that. You will have to decide whether you want to roll out the update to the next version. And again, the differences between updates here. So people might be thinking that 20H2 is a major update. And uh, this is not a major update. This is what we class as a minor update. The major update was 2004. And if you've updated to 2004, that was a major update with, uh, a, you know, a big load of patches and fixes and stuff like that. Now, what I would say is if you're already on Microsoft 2004 version, uh, then the update to 20H2 will be very small and minor. You won't see a lot of feature changes on there. I have done a video on some of the updates that you do get uh, with that, and it was only about, you know, two or three that were really sort of decent changes, and all the rest of them were just minor changes. But that is all you can expect from 2004 to 20H2. Now, you'd have already, already received a lot of your updates and patches for 2004, so the update path to 20H2 shouldn't be so much of a problem. Hopefully, you won't see many problems if you're updating from 2004 to 20H2 because it's only a minor update. On the other hand, if you're jumping from 1909 uh, or 1903 to, to there, then the update will be a major update because you will have to install uh, the 2004 part because they're part of the same update. They've just got some extra added features added into them. Uh, you will have all the patches and features and fixes for that 2004 version. They will also come down in that 20H2 as well. So that is what you can expect if you're jumping from 1909 to 19 or 1903 to those versions. There would be a major update to those, whereas if you're jumping from 2004 to that, it's not so much of a big deal. I love the bit there where it says Microsoft recommends. <laughs> you got to love that. Their optimism uh, is great. So also another thing here, which I wanted to cover here, is this area up here, which you can now see an area where it shows you the known issues and notifications. You can read these for yourselves. I get asked the question all the time about, uh, you know, is it safe to update to 2004? Well, when there was a major uh, problems with uh, Windows 10 2004, in fact, I thought it was plagued with problems, and they did actually fix a lot of those problems. There was more than this, as you mentioned uh, in my previous videos. You see me uh, go through a massive list of updates and patches that they've done and fixes. 
They haven't put it all on here. There was a lot of problems with it, and they did actually fix a lot of those. Uh, resolved issues as well. They might not show every single uh, problem here, but you can see there's quite a big list, and these uh, have been resolved here. So they are getting better at fixing problems, and they are getting better at rolling out these updates. It's getting a little bit more acceptable uh, compared to having it forced upon you the way it was before and then messing up your system. If you're wondering whether the uh, defragging problem has uh, been fixed, then yes, it has. That's been uh, fixed. And there's a bunch of other fixes that have been uh, fixed and resolved here. So hopefully the jump to uh, 20H2 from 2004 won't be such a, a big problem, hopefully, because a lot of the fixes were fixed in 2004. So again, that's going to come down to you whether you want to update right away or whether you just want Microsoft to roll out these updates, which they will do. Once they start rolling them out, you will start seeing them uh, pop up in your updates and security area here. You'll start seeing them show up here uh, for the latest versions, unless you've got it all paused. So let me know in the comments section below whether you're going to be updating your system or whether you're just going to hold off. Normally, what I like to do is hold off for a couple of months on uh, updates just to make sure and keep an eye on those um, errors that may pop up now and again. I keep an eye on the internet and see how things are going. And generally, uh, I normally look at uh, people's PCs and see whether there's issues there. And if there is, I'll just generally wait uh, before I start rolling out my updates on my system. All I want is a stable PC. And basically, uh, the version 2004 has now been problem free for me. I'm not having any issues. So I'm sort of dubious about updating to even that minor update of 20H2 right away. I just don't want any sort of problems. So I just may hold off just for a little bit and then update to that a little bit later on and see how that goes because it is only a minor update and it's not really going to have a lot of major changes to it. Anyway, I think that's going to be about it for this video. So I hope this one's been informative to you. I hope that you have a safe update if you are going to update. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thank you for all the people that have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate it. Thanks very much. And I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos. Thank you.